The 7th February early presidential election took place in a restrictive environment, and while preparations were efficiently managed, it was marked with the stifling of critical voices and the absence of political alternatives. The incumbent was not meaningfully challenged, and this combined with the shrinking space for independent media, civil society, and political parties, and strengthened powers of incumbency, resulted in a contest devoid of genuine pluralism. Long-standing severe limitations on fundamental freedom of association, expression, and peaceful assembly, both in law and in practice, run contrary to standards for genuine democratic elections. The election administration conducted an extensive get out the vote campaign, but the nominal campaign coverage by the media and near absence of analytical reporting limited voters' response opportunity to make an informed choice. While election commissions were well resourced, important safeguards were often disregarded and substantial procedural errors and omissions were observed during the opening, voting, counting and tabulation.